today I've got a few things on. I just finished putting this 1928 model A radiator in the beast. So you're probably wondering why am I sticking a 1928 radiator in a 1930 model A. The back half of this car is 1928. The front half of this car is 1930. The engine is actually a 1928 engine and so is a chassis. So really it's a 1928. And I'm in the process of demongrelizing it. So I'm going to replace the cow and the doors to make it completely 1928. So this um, new radiator, which is an original one, is the first part of that process to demongrelize my mongrel. I'm going to take it for a trip up to Bunnings and just make sure it's not overheating. Um, I've got to get some grinding discs and then we're going to go and hit the blacksmith shed and do some blacksmithing, test out the power hammer, and um, yeah, have a little bit of fun in there. too bad, it's a bit more than it used to run with the old radiator, but this is an original jobby and that's not overheating at all. So what happened to the old radiator, it just pretty much fell apart. Mate recently drop over a heap of pegs, he's a concreter, and there's also some um, kangaroo or jackhammer bits in everyone sharpened so I think the best way to test out my new power hammer which I haven't used in anger yet is throw these in there and see how we go. So you may have noticed in some previous videos that the power hammer is now in the blacksmith shed. I managed to squeeze it in the corner here without having to extend the guy. So that works out okay for now. Um, I'm gonna have something to eat. I'll get the forge lit and um, we'll try this beast out see how we go. cutting discs because I had to modify my um, power hammer because on the upstroke the anvil is hitting on the mounting bracket. I'll just turn the camera. Ah! So on the upstroke the anvil hits this and just makes extra noise. So I'm just in the process of taking an inch off that to hopefully reduce that noise. And I have been criticised quite a bit, fairly enough too, that I'm not wearing enough PPE. So and I do know better, and I do have the stuff, so I'm putting it on, and I'm going to try and make sure that I continue to do that in my videos, even when I'm not on video, because it's, um, I've got enough metal in my eye to know better.
waiting for that to heat up. Let's talk about this uh, power hammer. So, like I said, I haven't used it in anger yet. Today's going to be the first time. Um, there's still a couple of things I want to do to it, but this is part of that process, trying it out, see how it works. I mean, I need to bolt it down. I've only got pavers on um, dirt floor here, so I'll have to put a concrete pad in here, bolt it down properly. But I might need to move it yet anyway, so we'll see how it goes today there. The other thing I want to do, and a couple of people have mentioned it, and I do have a plan, is have it so my anvil stays up when I'm not using it. So the way I'm going to do that, where's that spring going? I'm not going to use this spring, but this is just an example. This is a pretty light spring. Obviously not strong enough for that repetitive work, but it holds, it holds it up. So the idea is I'm going to get myself a, old, an old um, trampoline spring and stick it in there, make a bracket so it's uh, connected properly and that'll pick that up in the up position when I'm not using it. So that'll happen, I've just got to get the spring. And the other thing, that engine, I've already had to pull that engine apart, just showing mates and a couple of demos I've done starting it up with friends and stuff. That engine seized up on me already. So I've had to pull it apart, grease it, it's really, really old. And I'm going to have to replace it sooner or later, so I'll get something a little bit more powerful. Um, you push down too hard on the pedal, it loads up the motor, and uh, we don't want that, so I'll change that. But right now, it's, it's a working power hammer, and um, I'm excited to see how it performs. I've never used a power hammer before, so this is the first time. that was really easy to make it fair the next one I get to forge welding temperature like it was that last one and tried in the power hammer and um, 
The old hammer and anvil's winning at the moment though. Let's see how we go. temperature it was a lot faster the other one took a few passes through the, a few heats this one one heat and um, it's still quicker with the hammer and I can do a better job with the hammer um, one thing I do notice is that anvil or that power hammer is drawing it out more than making a, a point so probably the wrong tool for the job but it's a good try I guess a good experiment and um, yeah so the rest I'm gonna do with my hammer Give the neighbours a break as well, that's so loud. <laughs> Alright, just for comparisons, this one's the power hammer, this one's with the hammer and anvil. So, similar job, the hammer and anvil's a metre job, and it's not drawn out as much. So yeah, just for comparisons anyway. got the um, jackhammer bits in there I'm not going to bore you with that so that's it so what's the conclusion what do I think about the power hammer it's noisy it's too noisy um, it works the hotter the metal the better it is the better it moves I'm looking forward to experimenting a bit more with it and um, using it to make some knives um, shaping hammers and stuff like that um, but yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy, but the job at hand today was quicker just using the old hammer and anvil, so that's all right. It's a learning experience, and um, I'm sure you've been wondering how the power hammer's been going, so it's going good. I've just got to make sure I use it for the right application, and um, like I said, it's the first time I've ever used one. And I don't have interchangeable dies, so I'm stuck with railroad row track. But yeah, it will come in handy, but the old hammer and anvil is nowhere near made redundant. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of hot rodding, a little bit of blacksmithing, and um, a little bit of comparison between a, a uh, power hammer and a rounding hammer. So yeah, cool. Stay tuned. See you later. What's up, mate? <coughs> yeah, I know.